Hello. I always get nervous during introductions. I'm finally going to play Crimson Snow. After a whole year. I never got round to it because I've seen so many playthroughs already and I know what happens. Um, but quite a few people have asked me um, if I've, you know, if I was planning on playing it. Um, so I thought now would be a good time. Also, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, by the way. And Happy New Year! So, I voice the antagonist in this game, um, the witch or the ex, depending on what you want to call her. In the script that I was given, um, it was stated that uh, they call her the witch for convenience, but she doesn't actually have a name, so it's up to the player to decide. This was my first voice role in a game, um, and I'm so proud of it. I, I'm so grateful. Um, to have been able to work with such an amazing team and with Olivia Steele who is the voice actress for Joyce. She's she's amazing. She's just a, such a lovely person. Um, and uh, yeah, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big horror game fan and I always have been. Um, so this was really a, a dream come true for me, to actually voice in a horror game, I've, I've always wanted to do that. I don't think it ever really will register with me, I, I think, um, I mean I, I've said it before but I, I definitely have imposter syndrome, um, especially when it comes to seeing YouTubers uh, who I've been a fan of for years, for, for a very long time playing a game that I voice in. It's it's huge for me. It's a really big deal for me. You know, YouTubers like Markiplier, Manly Badass Hero, um, I followed them for a very long time and to actually see them play a game that I'm in, it's just big deal for me. Really big deal. And that's why I left um, some comments on their videos because I wanted to express how excited and happy I was to have them play a game that I'm in because I'm a big fan and some people took that as me making it all up which is a really weird thing to say I mean I get it it's the internet you're allowed to be skeptical um, but all it really takes is a quick Google search and you'll know everything you need to know. My name's in the credits of the game, I'm on IMDB, in a tweet from Step Hair Studio tagging my account when they announced me for the role, um, I made a silly video of myself recording the lines. I still have the original raw audio files that I sent to the developers during the production of the game, do you need any more proof? I'm sorry, it's just, I get a bit miffed when my when people lazily discredit something I worked so hard on, thank you very much. Besides, I don't need to justify myself, even though I just did. Also, yes, I know um, my natural voice sounds nothing like the character, but it's called voice acting. When I applied for the role on Cast and Call Club, all I knew was that the witch was a crazy, delusional, dangerous ex who is stalking the protagonist. I actually had no idea at the time that the developers were going to add a beautiful demonic filter to my voice to make it sound even more distorted and terrifying. If I say, honey, are you there? Or sweetie, where are you? Can you hear it now? It's me. I mean, is it really that hard to believe? But I was not ready for the reactions to the witch, um, which is silly, really, um, because when you look at the model, she's gorgeous. Um, terrifying, but gorgeous. Olivia shared the playthrough from InSim, who I actually discovered through her, um, and I saw, that was the first time that I saw those kinds of comments, um, and let me tell you, I could not breathe. <laughs> it's just never happened to me before you know, seeing people react in that way to a character that my voice is attached to. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited 
and nervous because um, I'm going to try and get the rare ending, um, which I haven't heard yet. We were given extra lines for this secret ending, um, which was added on after the game was released, and I've avoided looking at playthroughs of that particular ending, um, so I don't get any spoilers or anything. I haven't heard what it sounds like or seen it, so this is kind of going to be a blind playthrough, because um, I know, I know where all of the scary parts are, um, but I know that I'm still going to get scared. Even though I know where the jump scares are, I'm still gonna get scared. I just, I just know I am. Right, so uh, let's do this. It's, uh, it's gonna be fine. Oh. It's so smooth. Hi, handsome! What have you been up to while your better half wasn't around? I love her voice. Hi, Joyce. I finished a lot of paperwork and watched a lot of TV shows. You know me, Joyce. I lived every day to the fullest. That's such a cheesy line. I'm gonna go Q. I'm warning you, Mark, if you watch the third season of Dark Vengeance without me, there will be blood. We've already finished negotiations, so I'll be home sooner than you think. I took a bunch of pics, just like you asked. Let me send you one right now. What do you want to see? My photo in the mountains, or from the pool? I forgot to say, that hotel had a luxurious swimming pool. <sighs> Your picture in the mountains, a luxurious swimming pool, huh? Let's check that out. I mean, I'd say send me both, darling, but I can't, so... I'm more curious to see the pool, if I had to choose. Because she said it was luxurious, so I'm curious. Yeah, sure. You just want to see the pool, right? And seeing me in a swimsuit has absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gone with me. Where's the pool? I know that you don't like meeting new people, but I'm worried about you, Mark. I'm pretty much Sounds the like only me. person you talk to. It's Christmas Eve, and no one's even congratulated you yet. Until personally attacked. <laughs> um. Well, not exactly today I received a letter. Don't be so sure, I got a letter, I just haven't read it yet. Did someone write you a personal letter? That's so cool! Open it up and tell me what's inside. It's near the entrance, right? Okay. Can I... I wonder what's inside the envelope. Oh, don't tell me I have to... Mm, I have to change the... Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the settings. Please tell me that I can. You keep your mail at the front door, right? <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Uh, can I not change the controls? Because I have a French keyboard, so... That's gonna be a problem. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back, uh, just a sec. Okay, I think I got it. Um, I had to switch the keyboard language. I hope that's not gonna be a problem later on. Uh, it's a shame you can't change the controls. Because sometimes that's handy. What happens if you go over here? I'm, I'm sorry, Joyce, I'm ignoring you. I'm just so curious. There's nothing much to see here. Can you run? I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm frightened. I'm very frightened. That green wallpaper's frightening. Ha! Huh. Lovely. Merry Christmas. 
Honey, I miss you so much. It's a pity that everything ended so badly. How did she get my new address? I'm ready to give us another chance. Yes, maybe I did some stupid things before, but I won't do them again. It's a pinky promise. Let's meet and discuss everything, okay? Mm -hmm. She even kissed the letter, how sweet. Well, who's it from? What did they write? <laughs> lie or lie? Um, it's just some papers from the tax office. It's a postcard from my parents. They are wishing me Merry Christmas. That sounds nicer. That's so nice. I thought you stopped communicating with them. It's so good that I was wrong. By the way, about communication, please go up to your bedroom window. See how my girlfriend is messing around with the lights at her home. You've arrived, why didn't you call? I could pick you up from the airport. Could have. Isn't it obvious? I wanted to surprise my boyfriend for Christmas. Luckily, the plane landed before the storm started. Now, on to the second part of my surprise. But first, show me your festive mood. some sparklers in your closet. Light them up in front of your window. Yes, stop. Uh, wait, in my closet? I'm sorry I didn't come to your home right away, but I had to prepare something. You'll see it for yourself soon. <laughs> um, 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 gotta be in here, right? Uh huh. This torch fountain is more powerful you didn't than making sparkler. There, did you? <laughs> Sorry, Mark, but tonight you won't get much sleep. Find sparklers in the closet of your bedroom, and I'll tell you the good news. Okay. Um, da -da -da. But I can still hold it in my hands. I think it'll do. Now I need to light it. Never mind. Okay. If you find the sparklers, light one of them up by the bedroom window so I can see it. Get some extra ones, because I think I'm going to need them later. Can you open this one too? How do you crouch? Can you crouch? Wait, what if I need to hide later? It can't be that complicated, surely. Um, okay. <laughs> But how do I... Oh. There it is! Now I can feel the Christmas spirit! Alright, here's the second part of the surprise. Do you remember that French wine you wanted to buy? Until you saw the price tag? Today? We'll try it out! I also got some fireworks. So, take your sparklers and come over. Let's celebrate Christmas together! By the way, I brought you a present. Did you get me something too? You're the curious one. I need to pick it up from under the tree, and I won't tell you what it is. A present for you? Sorry, I didn't think we'd be celebrating together. Why would you say something like that? Wait, you won't even tell me what kind of gift you prepared? Okay, now I'm interested. Grab it and come over. I'm waiting. The longer you wait, the greater the chance that I'll drink all your wine by myself. <gasps> Take your gift and come to see me. It's under the tree, isn't it? Wow, lovely decorations. I bought this engagement ring a month ago, but couldn't find the perfect moment for a proposal. Will she say yes? It's very pretty. Are you sure that you have a present? If you found the gift, come see me already. Alright. Did you Will leave the grab house? Me coat? It's easy to get lost in this weather. Follow the light, handsome. I'm waiting for you. <sighs> Uh-oh. See, now I just need to go and just open it. I, I know what happens. So. I'm very 
very scared right now. changed my mind it's not that scary it's fine it's just time to die lovely leave that out during Christmas time that's that's a wonderful book to have laying about <laughs> Myself. It's really weird. It's it's very weird. Um it's different watching someone else play it and then playing it yourself and hearing yourself. It is weird. Um bit of a lower frame rate there. Hello, you're there already. I don't like this. I don't like this. Where are you? Did you sink into the snow? Hurry up, I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm already inside your house and I don't see you here. What does inside your house mean? I'm standing at the door and I didn't see you come in. Hey Santa, it looks like you broke into the wrong house. Get out of there before you get... Just gonna keep picking these up whenever I find them. So you can Of course. Yes. Um I am really nervous though. I am very nervous. Shall I oh hang on. Apart from sparklers, is there anything else you can pick up? And I'll be looking for something else in particular as well. But I won't say what it is yet. Those are some dirty windows. <laughs> Spooky. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. It's dark. Um, do I want to go this way? I guess I'm going this way. Oh. Oh. Very dark, I didn't see. Why am I scared? Why am I scared? I've seen you a thousand times before. You're not frightening. You are kind of frightening. It's okay, everything's fine. I'll just leave. so dark. Is there no way I can... Am I supposed to just wander around in the dark? Oh. Do you mind? Can I turn it off? This isn't phasmophobia. Uh, mm. Nothing else to pick up for now, I suppose. 
I ramble when I get nervous, by the way, if you haven't picked up on that already. That? That's normal. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a problem if I cannot see anything, I guess. <clears throat> I'm nervous, okay? I, I don't think straight when I'm nervous. Don't judge me. I don't know why, I just didn't think to use them. I think I've seen this postcard before. This is weird. I'm sorry, but I can't return for my trip before Christmas. Damn work. Please celebrate without me. I don't remember Joyce having these photos. I thought her parents looked different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need all the sparkles I can get. I'm just going to waste sparklers whilst looking for sparklers, I think, is what's going to happen. Luckily, there are plenty, like, around. Oh. <laughs> Can I just avoid using them for now? I don't want to waste any more. This is fine. Everything's going to be... Just fine. Okay. Um. <sighs> Sorry. Festive. <sighs> Breathe. It's fine. You're fine. This isn't Joyce's handwriting. Someone was waiting for me here. Everything will happen today. It will be our perfect holiday. He's coming soon, so I need to get ready. Dress, Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, fireworks, the ring. He cannot leave. He is already here. Okay. Okay. Honey, are you there? It's weird. I love her nails. I love it when she does that. It's so cool. Um, I 
am going to check on my recording real quick because I don't trust OBS to not fuck it up. And also, very nervous right now. Um, because I feel self-conscious on top of being scared of playing the horror game. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, just gonna check on the quality real quick. Okay. Alright, that's good. I am nervous to keep going. Um, uh, yeah, I don't wanna. She turns around for like two seconds. How am I gonna, how? You can't ask me to do this. What am I gonna do? Oh god. Okay, okay, right. Right. The moment she turns round. I'm gonna die. See that? See how fast I was? It's fine. It's all fine. What do I do? I'm scared. Do I have to go this way? Well, what's over here? I am really... So obviously can't go that way. What's through here again? Right! This way it is. I might turn the volume up a little bit for myself, actually. Because I only have one earbud in. I don't like to... Well, I don't like to have a headset on when I'm talking because I can't hear myself as well. This is nice. <laughs> like I said, I, I am familiar with some of the things that happen in the game, so it's not... <sighs> Mark, stop scaring me. I know that you're here. I found the Christmas tree that you knocked over. And why did you take off its decorations? Do you even know how long it took me to decorate it? It wasn't me, Joyce. Listen, I've been locked up in here. Joyce, there's some creepy shit going on here. What do you mean it wasn't you? Then who was walking around my house? Mark, seriously, don't scare me like that. What's going on? Uh, none of these answers are very good. She's going to think I'm crazy either way. You won't believe me, Joyce. I think I'm hallucinating. The corridor just got bigger. I do not understand what is going on. Let's go with the more rational response. Mark, do you phone. need help? I can... Wait. There's someone here. Well, I think she'd be worried either way. Um... Okay. Okay. And, oh, of course. Oh, of course. <sighs> I really would rather not see her again. This is... Gonna be quite a deep dive, I reckon.
Oh shit. Oh no, I thought it was. Sparkler. I'm very nervous. Right, um, if I want to find the things that I'm looking for, I'm going to have to pay attention. Already this painting is very interesting. I never noticed it before. If you've, you know, not played the game before, or you don't want any spoilers or anything like that, you can just skip this part. But, um, we know that, uh, we don't actually have a name for her, but the witch is possessed. I suppose this would be some kind of representation of possession. Well, it's like some kind of entity taking advantage of someone who's vulnerable with very strong emotions. In her case, um, she's obsessed um, and can't let Mark go. So whatever demon has possessed her would have latched onto that, would have played off that. I think this painting's got to be some kind of allusion to possession and witchcraft and all that fun stuff. Um, uh, okay, I didn't do this last time, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do it now. Okay, so the lampshade is... Where am I? What am I looking at? Let me try and... Oh, okay. Situate myself. Okay. Then... Then what? Uh... Did I... Oh! The painting. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Just freaking out a little bit right now. What did that do? What on earth did that do? Uh, oh! Page from the old book. It looks like a fragment of from some European fairy tale. The paper is very old. What is going on here? And what is that drawing on the back? Once a year, on the darkest and longest night, the devil goes out into the world to look for work. He promises to do anything, to help any trouble, if only someone agrees to give him a job. Payment will always come some time later. He has one night to do all of his work, and when Christmas comes, the devil will return home to give his master a report on how many souls he collected this year. People have long forgotten about the devil's night, but everyone knew about it in the past, and the devil still does his duty, and every year he still goes looking for a job. Right. So I'm guessing we need the other sigils. But I have no idea where they are. So we're gonna have to try and find them. Somehow. Um, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to find them. I'm trying to think. I want to make sure I get them all. Interesting, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I'm thinking. It's not like checkpoints or anything like that. That's going to be fun. Okay, 
so I need to find them, and I guess there wouldn't be in any drawers or anything like that. I mean, what if I miss some? Does that mean I have to play through the whole thing again? I don't want to do that. Can you open these? You can't. Okay. I have a tendency to upturn everything as well when I'm playing a game. It can take me four... Ever. Um. Huh. I don't know which way to go first. Let's go this way first. Sweetie, where are you? Let's celebrate together. <laughs> Yeah, they made my voice, like, sound slightly, slightly deeper. They changed the pitch a little bit. And then they made it sound just a little bit demonic. Just a little bit. I love it. I love what they did. Because I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, when they... When I... Because I, I, I didn't mention this earlier, but I got the role on Casting Call Club. Um, I'm not stalling or anything, because I don't want to leave my hiding space. But yeah, I, um, all I knew was that I was, like, gonna be voicing a, like, delusional, dangerous, crazy ex-girlfriend, but, um, I was really, like, pleasantly surprised when I found out that they added this kind of demonic tone to the voice. I thought it was a really cool, really cool, um, detail. What do I do? I didn't finish checking everything. She's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Can she hear me? What do I do? Doors change shot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a break for that door over there, aren't I? Wait, no. to go that way. Please don't see me. Nice teeth. I do love her teeth. Um, yeah, that way is for the door where I need to put the snow globes in. So I need to go that way. I don't want to go that way. What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna wait for her to turn around. I'm gonna fo follow her. Her arms are like bent backwards. That's lovely. <sighs> I 
Okay, I know what happens here. I know what happens here. Um... But I don't know... I can't, like... I can't run! What am I gonna do? I can't run. I, I just... I don't... I... You can't run in this, can you? I'm fucked. I'm not gonna die, I'm gonna die. That's it, I'm dead. Hi, sweetie. Honey, don't make me hurt you. Oh, I thought she was gonna chase me. Well, now that she's gone... I know, I was... I've seen a lot of people get scared at that point. But I was expecting it, so. And I and I I know there are gonna be moments that I'm gonna expect and they're gonna scare me anyway. I'm 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 expecting it. Beautifully done though. I love how the jump scares in this aren't over the top. Nothing worse than that. Is she coming up here again? I don't wanna walk past she's gonna see me, isn't she? I think I'm alright. I just want to check these drawers and cabinets, because you never know. Um, besides, I like uh, the other touch as well, is that she's got sight problems. I thought I'd be alright. I mean, there's no point in running. She would have caught me anyway. Too late. Do I have to do all of that again? I fucking do. Great, okay. Notes. Right. Let's celebrate together. Do you reckon it would make her jump if you just, like, grabbed her ankle? Probably not. <laughs> My cheeks are all red. I'm wearing a jumper, so it's kind of warm, but... I'm also just red because... Because I'm nervous. Um, okay, enough story. She turned around, she turned around. Okay, so I just need to be really careful when she comes this way. Do not stand in front of the doorway, just stay hidden here, like... Isn't that... No, she didn't see me last time. I just want to check all of these cabinets. any point in looking in those drawers there's nothing in there but what about the cabinets the upper cabinets i need to look in there <gasps> this is going to take a while Well, there was fuck all in them anyway. Good to know. I mean, you never know. It's best to check everywhere. Uh, and now I need to wait for her to turn around again so I can follow her down the hallway. Is that where I want to go? It is. Too 
She has beautiful hair. The heartbeat sound is making my heart accelerate. Bloody way do I go? Oh, of course. Uh, I don't wanna. Um... So this is one of these drawers. I wonder how you pick up those other sigils. Wait, I know I've got a while to go yet, but still. Documents to pick up. No notes. Oh, I suppose they'll be later on. Huh? Oh, she's fast. Where is she going to go now? She's not going to come back this way, is she? She is, you little... I fucking knew it. You're not getting me. You ain't getting me this time. Don't mind me, I'm just... Okay. Okay, quickly now, quickly, quickly, quickly! <sighs> I think she may have hearing difficulties too. A snow globe. Um, she's gonna hear that though. She will hear that. So I know what I have to do. Ooh. Those are my favourite noises to make the angry sounds. It's good when you've got a lot of pent up frustration. And I got to do all the the screaming and the growls and the more angry lines. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that. Stop running away. I'm getting used to it now. Why are you hiding? We are made for each other. I loved, and I love doing those lines as well. I think because, you we know... We must be together. Into every uh, voice role that I have, I try and I, I put in everything I've got into it. Um, and, and with her, I really wanted to be... I really tried to get it in my head that she's convinced that they are made for each other. She's convinced they're meant to be together. And I really tried to get that across in the lines. I don't want it to just sound, you know, too romantic or anything. I wanted it to almost be aggressive. Like, to her, there is no other alternative. There is no other option. There is no world where they are not together. Um, and in her head, 
that is how she sees it. But yeah, <clears throat> I'll stop rambling. Um, wait, sh is she going to come back this way again? I can't hear her anymore. <laughs> I'm too scared to move. I don't know why, but just in case. I'm getting a bit panicky now. A bit panicky. Uh, <laughs> I'm missing a snow globe. I am missing a snow globe. Let's go ahead and put the ones I have on there already. If I can. And yeah, of course I'm missing the third one. Of course, and there's no hiding place here. Let's go ahead and have a look at what's in here. I hope my mic placement is good enough. I didn't want it to, like, in my face, but... At the same time, the sound might not be as good. Uh, I'm looking at everything, every tiny little thing, just in case I miss something, you never know. Okay, so it's got to be in one of these. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Um, silly me. I'm too scared to pick it up. If I pick it up, I'm gonna have to make a fucking run for it. I mean, it's not that far, but I'm still gonna have to make a run for it. What if she busts through the door before then? I'm just gonna have to try. I did, there's, I can't hide anywhere else in time. I thought I heard footsteps. Uh, okay, pick it up and run. Snatch and run. Toys are from the Christmas tree at Joyce's house. That crazy woman said something about decorating a tree. If I do this, then maybe she will get distracted, and I will be able to sneak further. Don't call her crazy woman, you know who she is. trippy.
It's interesting how she's warped reality around him. Who has a painting like that in their house? It's rather intimidating. I don't miss <laughs> You! I told you. I knew there'd be a moment where I get scared. Can I follow her? No, okay. <laughs> I loved that. That was brilliant. Flare. Sorry, not a flare, sparkler. Right. So. I'm surprised. I'm guessing all the things I'll be able to pick up will be later on. Because I know you can pick up a few documents pertaining to her past and things like that. So. Mark, I think I'm hallucinating too. I, th I saw someone at the window and she... Uh, I'm just seeing things. Yeah. I'm just seeing things. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell her to hide somewhere and call the police. I need to understand what's going on here. Please tell me what's going on with you! Everything feels like a dream. The house is changing. Some crazy woman is looking for me. I think I just found her Christmas decorations. She must have brought them here. I'm gonna go with that one. Of course. You accidentally found my stuff in someone else's house. Mark, do you think I'm an idiot? God. Fine. You said I need to hide. I'll do that, and then... I heard something. Well, shit. I mean, she wouldn't have believed me if I said I'm crazy, some crazy woman's chasing me, and I'm I'm seeing things. I mean I looked through these pretty nice. Okay. Let's just let's go ahead and decorate the Christmas tree. Um Yeah, I, I did that already. But, but hang on a second. I don't know. Oh. oh. I remember this bit, of course. I wish I could do that. I tried actually, I did a YouTube short where I like tried to do the crab walk or whatever it's called for a laugh. Okay. So, 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 so. I guess I'll go that way. I'm not gonna follow her through the vents, am I? <laughs> I can't remember where you're supposed to go. I think it's this way. Okay, it's not that way. I guess now the goal is to try and leave, but obviously... Oh. What do I... what do I do?
Well, that's a bit spooky. Where do they get these old films from? Hm. Ooh, yeah, old stop motion like that. Creepy. Um. I'm kind of tired. Been dealing with a lot lately. <sighs> okay. Um. <gasps> We're going back through here again. Ah. Uh -huh. There were a lot of doors that were chained off before. I think I might have missed some already. I hope not. Oh. The basement! Great! Well, that's better. I get, like... When I have lots of things to look at, I, I get kind of... distracted. Because I want to look at everything in detail, but I don't know where to start. And it I get kind of like, they call it decision fatigue or something. Mark! She's here! No! Don't touch me, bitch! She... She's gone. Is, are you okay? Mark, these aren't hallucinations. She isn't human. I'm fine. I was hiding just like he said. I had time to prepare before she found me. I, uh... I launched fireworks at her. It seems to have scared her off. I don't think she likes bright lights. Try to find something similar. Maybe that'll help you. <clears throat> <sighs> Do you know her? Focus on survival. Okay. We'll get through this. We have to get through this. Mark, she can come back at any moment. What should I do? Oh. Uh. Keep hiding and try not to make any noise. Find a flashlight and more fireworks. Try to drive her away with bright light. Uh. Oh, that's tricky. Um. I want her to stay safe. I don't want her to get hurt. I don't want it to get hurt, but if I... Ah, oh, that's difficult. I don't know. Either one could be a bad idea. If she keeps hiding, she won't be prepared. If she spends too much time trying to find things to save herself, she might get hurt. I, I don't... She already knows that fireworks scare her off. I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> I don't want to make the wrong decision. Uh, um, I'm going to say hide. Hide, because she already knows okay. that. Okay. I'll find some place to hide. I'll try to call the police, but I don't think they'll arrive here fast enough in this weather. Oh, man. Olivia... is, um... She, she's amazing. Um... She's just... Oh, wait, I have to play this? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Let's try, shall we? Okay, okay. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. D, D, B, A, G, D. D.
Nice. Nice. It says Christmas night, like today. The sign on the back of the page, it looks like it's part of some big symbol. We found a second one. There was one young woman in our village, smart and beautiful she was. Life has dealt her a bad hand. Her husband went to war but did not return. This young lass had cried. This young lass has cried day after day until there were no tears left. And then she said, I'll return my betrothed from the grave and no price is too high for it. She decided to hire the devil for that matter. You don't make deals with the devil. Everybody knew that, but she decided to do it anyway. She waited for Christmas night and began the summoning. Wow, okay, we have two. I hope I haven't missed any so far. I really hope I haven't. Goodness me. Oh god. I don't like this. Ugh. Okay. She's coming. She's on her way. <laughs> I, uh, I know what's gonna. Oh, that's beautiful. I love how her head's bent at such an unnatural angle. Well, I got scared once so far. Well, jumped once, but I've been pretty scared throughout the whole game so far. Uh, mm, right, yeah. I, uh... I really don't want to keep using these, but it is so dark. Oh, wait. What? Oh god. I am so dead. I am so dead. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, it is really dark when... Lovely. God, she really did a number on them. You still alive? Oh shit. That's fucked up. I'm so sorry. Oh. <clears throat> Actually, I wanted to look at what was on what was on the table. Note from the doctor: My ex-girlfriend didn't like sunny weather either, but it was the least of her problems. We regret to inform you that your vision is deteriorating. 
The examination showed that you suffer from light hypersensitivity. I recommend that you avoid daylight, as well as any bright light sources. Sincerely, Dr. A. Mulrow. So if I click here, it's literally just to hide under the table, if not. It's just, there are all these pills. I guess she was on a lot of medication, too. Right, okay. Huh? Fun fact, if you didn't know this already, because I think I mentioned it in another video. I was on medication when I recorded my lines for The Witch. Did that help with my performance? I don't know. But... I've dealt with, um, you know, still am dealing with, uh, with depression. And I was on antidepressants when I recorded my lines for this. They actually made me, um, angrier, if anything. I had to lower the dosage because I started to have, uh, violent thoughts. Am I oversharing? Sorry. I'm not like trying to play into the character or anything, it's just literally the truth. I was starting to have violent thoughts. I wanted to hurt people. And I talked to my doctor about it and they said, lower the dosage. Instead of seeing a professional. So I did and I felt better after that. Um, but it was complicated for a while. She was obsessed with someone. Whoever he is, I hope he's all right now. Mark. <laughs> you know she's followed you up until here. It's not anybody else but you. He said that he went to his friends. Liar. I need to call his mother. Is it Anna? She must be one of his co-workers. Is he dating his secretary? Violet? He must be dating someone. Who is trying to take him away? Natalie? Helen? Damn, she's written down all of their numbers. Did she call them? Shit. Is there anything over here that I'm missing and I just can't see it? No. I need to go this way. Oh boy! Oh! No, 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 come on, that's not fair. I got very lucky there. Oh my god. Is she behind me? Why is this taking so long? Did you hear that? It's fine. It's all fine. We'll just press this and hide. That is my star. So she killed the old couple. Right. So, um... <laughs> what do I do? I'm 
so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, so now he's running. Wait, that ritual circle. Excuse me a moment. Is she gonna find me? <laughs> Fuck! I loved doing that laughter too. That was so much fun. That was my favourite part, I think, was the laughter. The, the unhinged laughter, I think. Oh, and the screaming as well. Which, by the time I'd finished screaming, my throat was killing me. And my neighbours were probably very worried. Um... I'm curious. I don't know where she's... What was the point in me pulling out a flare? Okay. Help, what did I just do? But I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear this. Get it off my head. Get, get it off. I don't. Oh, God. Oh. Right, okay. This is obviously some kind of fucking puzzle, isn't it? My brain. Do, do that again. I can't. I... That one, that one, that one, that one. I hate my life. Excuse me, do you mind? Listen, you're interrupting me. I'm trying to concentrate. Get out of my face. Accepted. We're doing this. <laughs> well, I can't avoid the. <laughs> she contradicts herself. You want to keep me, then you want to kill me. Make your mind up. Well, actually, I, I learned that she um, she wants you in life or in death. So basically, <laughs> did she? Yeah, she basically doesn't care whether you're dead or alive, she just wants to keep you, so. Right, I got this. I got this, okay. Grab the hat for some reason, and then, yeah, okay, so it was like that, that, that. But I don't want her to find me. walking past. I need to be careful. She won't come in here, will she? If I hide here, she she won't see me, I don't think. Fucking hope not. She's close.
one on the back side resembles a pentagram for the ritual. It seems that this tale will hide a description of some occult rite. Maybe if I find other parts, I'll know how to undo its effects. Just as people have the Star of Bethlehem, so the devil has his own star, the five-pointed one. Whoever draws that star will call him right away. The widow drew a star with all the right angles and symbols, and the devil appeared right before her. He asked him. To, she asked him to do the job. Hey you, the damned one, return my husband to me until the next sunrise. The devil spat on his hands, jumped into the fireplace, and got down to business. And in the morning, the widow heard a knock on her door. I doubt it was good. Right? No, 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 I just got it! Fuck, <laughs> she's gonna kill me! Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing it, I don't care how many tries it takes, I'm doing it, you can't stop me, I'm fucking doing it. I'm getting pissed off by my own laugh. Wouldn't be the first time. Ron then! Oh, fucking bugger. I'm getting too hasty now. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> let me just get more comfortable. Right, right. I hate everything. read it already so I'm gonna wait until she walks past I'm gonna grab it went the wrong bloody way. I went the wrong fucking way, didn't I? Great. Awesome. She's gonna come this way, isn't she? I fucked up.
quickly now, quickly. Okay. Keep going. I am very frightened. Very scared. Uh. Oh, okay. Great. Awesome. Touch it. Shit. That's a very long arm. <laughs> Tell you what, she's gonna be around here somewhere, isn't she? I'm gonna have to be really fucking careful. Okay. I tell you what, though, I am lucky I found that third sigil because if I just kept going, I wouldn't have noticed it. That goes to show a whole box of fireworks. If she really, if she is really afraid of bright light, they will definitely come in handy. Maybe I can set a trap for her. I just need to find something that can distract her. Where did she hide my ring? Great, so I need to find the ring now. Where would she have hidden that? Mark. Are you there? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Uh... I'm fine, how are you? I hid in an old closet in the attic. I heard her while she was walking near me. She was muttering your name. What about you? Do you have any news? <clears throat> Preferably good news. I found pages with fragments of the ritual. She used it to gain her power. My gift for you, she took it away. What do you mean, ritual? If that's the case, then maybe we can use it to weaken her. Try to find any remaining fragments. No, I called the trying. police. I don't know where you are right now, so I gave them my address. Find a window they'll be able to see you from. Try to get up to the second floor. Okay. So, we're gonna try and focus on finding those... ...fragments. Um... Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I remember what happens there. I know. But it's still gonna scare me. Oh, it's not this girl. Where is it? Can you pick it up? Oh. It's heavy. I don't think it could stop her. I need something more powerful for that. On the other hand, it will help to remove those boards that cover the household elevator. Where did I see those? Oh, I remember. <laughs> Whew. Her nails. Did she cut her nails in the meantime? It's more terrifying if she has the ability to retract them. Perhaps more of a feature. <clears throat> um, right, well, I guess that's that then. We're getting in this thing? Doesn't sound like a very good idea, but we're doing it. Okay. Okay. Are here. <laughs> it's 
sounds funny. Okay, so. So, so, so. Pretty. Uh oh. notice you right after I finished looking through these things I, sense of priority in your Just... I see the light oh. in a nearby house is that you are you on the second floor I don't think they've noticed you you need to find another window that's more visible so the police can see you Any slower. Stand down! Stand down or shoot! Put yourself together. Panicking won't help you now. Joyce will be okay. We can do this. No, you're right. We can't give up. I, I, I heard her mumbling something. I, I don't know if this helps, but she said something about the gift she finally got. And one more thing. I, I saw that she threw one of the cops through the window of your building. Try to find him. Maybe he has a gun on his body. The delivery. The delivery of her lines. Just sublime. Brilliant. She, she's amazing. She's so talented. Um, yeah, that uh, scream that you hear when she like kills the cop, um, I surprised myself with that one. Because... Um, I, you know, when you, when you, it's like when you do anything, you, uh, you, with time, you practice more and more, you learn more things, and I would have never thought myself capable of, like, screaming in front of a microphone. And I was letting out all these different screams, and I was really giving it everything I had, which is why I did end up hurting my throat at the end of the day, which you're supposed to be careful to not put too much strain on your vocal cords, but I really went for it. And that particular scream, I remember when I did it, I was like, ooh. <laughs> so we need to pick up a gun on his body. Is it just me or are these things burning out faster and faster? Is this a puzzle? It appears to be a hint on how to find the hidden page. My consciousness is drifting away. I can't concentrate, but I must not forget. Oh! Oh! Oh, poor thing. I mean... We've got to read it in her voice. My consciousness is drifting away. I can't concentrate, but I must not forget. I hit the pages in case he deceives me. One of them is nearby. The color will open the way if you remember the order. Look under the tree first, then gaze into the eyes of the devil. The third one is the heart of a deer. The last one is the Christmas star. Damn, so she was cautious. So she made a deal with the devil because she was desperate. And she lost her consciousness. So she is not herself right now. This confirms it. She is not herself at all. She's possessed. 
I hid the pages in case he deceives me. One of them is nearby. You know what would be great? If you gave me hints for the other ones too, but okay. Um, the colour will open the way if you remember the order. Look under the tree first. Then gaze into the eyes of the devil. The third one is the heart of a deer. The last one is the Christmas star. I'm guessing it's all on the bookcase. It's gotta be, in it? It's gotta be a case of pressing books in the right order. So, tree, I'm just gonna remember this. Tree, eyes of the devil, heart of a deer, Christmas star. Tree, devil, deer, star. Tree, devil, dear star. But it said, look under the tree first. Right, okay. Under the tree. Well, I mean, there's a tree, but that's not... That looks like a tree. There's a deer there. But what bothers me is there's one book there like that and then there's another one exactly like it here. So what's the... Let me... Hang on. Gaze into the eyes of the devil. What in the world? It could just be a case of numbers. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Got five, got one. No, it's not in order of numbers then. All the coloured books you can touch. What am I missing? Under the tree. What do you mean, under the tree first? What tree? What do you mean, under the tree? Look under the tree first, then gaze into the eyes of the devil. The third one is the heart of a deer. The last one is the Christmas star. What do you mean? Is it all the books? Is it? Is it all? Hang on a sec. I mean, they don't mean like actually look under the tree, right? Because that would be silly. And it's too far away. We're supposed to do this all... Silly me. Nearby, so look at the paintings. That's a... Rather demonic looking Christmas painting. But purple is the first book. So we've got purple. Christmas star is red. These are all rather frightening to look at. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's... No, I don't love it. It's actually really disturbing. It's too much even for me. Um, uh, okay, so... Christmas star is red. Look under the tree. Purple. Um, the second one was... The Eyes of the Devil. The Heart of the Deer is blue. So we're looking for... Oh! Oh! Well, isn't that just lovely? Wow. Yeah, they really got the... That is disturbing. 
How wondrously disturbing. Oh, that is frightening to look at. God, if something like that possessed her, no wonder she's so upset. I feel really bad for her, actually. Well, I say I felt bad for her even before, because she's hurting a lot. So, um, green. So it's purple, green, blue, red. I think. Purple, green. Blue and red. We're doing quite well here. The widow from the fairy tale used a ritual to fulfill her wish. Is something like this happening right now? She brought these pages here for a reason. She wanted to repeat the summoning. Oh. The artwork for this is brilliant. I don't know who did it, but let's find out. She opened the door and saw her husband without even a scratch on him. He hugged his wife, kissed her, and began to whisper sweet words in her ears. This is happiness, thought the poor lass. They began to live together again and live in goodness. Until one day. You see, the devil will never do you any good. Her betrothed was not a betrothed at all, but a foul ghoul. The devil dug him out of the earth, outside the graveyard, and dressed up as her husband. The evil spirit played a joke on poor lass, and laughed at her foolishness. But a grief of one soul is never enough for the devil, and the ghoul began to walk around the village at nights, and to knock on the doors. Damn. Okay. Okay, we're missing one. We're missing one. We can do this. I know we can. We just need to find it. Somewhere. Okay, I don't know where to go now. There are two doors and I don't know what to You know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, I knew, I, I knew it was gonna happen, but I didn't know it was this door at this moment in the game. I've seen that jump scare before, and I got scared from it just from watching someone else's playthrough once. And I knew it was gonna scare me anyway. I thought that moment's gonna scare me. It, I was right. Oh boy. Wow. Nice painting. Nice painting. Those are my old postcards. I started sending them to my ex-girlfriend when I couldn't talk to her anymore. So that was her. Sorry, stuck at work. Visiting my family. Why don't you cross out the rest? I'll be late. I can't come. Is there anything else in there? Just... Oh. Damn, she got me there. following me all this time. I have nowhere to hide. She won't let me go. She left. She won't bother us. Mark bought a ring. Is it for me? Does he want me back? Mark doesn't talk to his parents anymore. That's good. Who does he talk with? These friends are bad for him. I need to get rid of them. 
Mark celebrates Christmas alone. Now is the time. He went to this bitch. Joyce. <laughs> Scribbled out. Damn. Because they tried to isolate him from his family. That's why I'm Mark. How are you? What about this door, though? Uh, I found a telescope. It's directed towards my house. I found notes she made. They're about my schedule. Notes? What do you mean? I'm telling her everything. She's getting all of the truth. <laughs> she was spying on us. She was spying on me. I thought so. All this time, she was interested in you. Not me. You are connected to her in some way. Dearie me. Mark, tell me. Do you know this woman? We used to date. You were dating? Why didn't you say this before? Too busy running for my life. I didn't realize it was her until I found evidence. She looks almost completely different now. I'll go with that one. Tell me about her. I realized that she was mentally unwell and we had to break up. She was crazy. She started to harass my parents and friends, so I left. That one, because otherwise he just comes across as an asshole, like, oh, my girlfriend's was mentally unwell, so I, I, I broke up with her. It, it sounds kind of, unless you specifically say why you broke up with her, I feel like that makes him come across as a bit of an asshole. Whether it's, if he like, explicitly states that she was actually getting to the point where she was harassing his friends and family, like that's, that's a reason to break up. Not that the other one isn't a reason, it's just the way it's worded. <clears throat> My god, this is terrible. So that's why you moved here from your city. The things that she does... Was she able to do them before? I never noticed anything like that. Maybe I tried not to notice. Last year her health began to deteriorate. Then some strange things began to appear. Yeah, I'll go with that. So this monster wants you back. Mark, thank you for telling me. I'm a good boyfriend. I tell the truth. Okay. <sighs> it's pointed right at the window of my house. Damn, that is creepy. Why is there toilet paper in all of the drawers? Keys. It could unlock the door to the corridor. I hope it will lead me to the gun. <gasps> oh, fuck me! Damn, she got me again. She's gonna get me again. That was scary. <gasps> okay. Frightened. You cheated. 
is on me. How is she better than me? Go, go, go. It's very stressful. <sighs> okay. I want to find that last ritual thing. I don't want to miss it. Because if I miss it, I'm going to have to do everything all over again. A cookie. Even at the very end, I didn't dare to speak to her openly and just wrote a letter. Should I have told her earlier? I won't be back. You can stop stalking my family now. Please don't hurt them. They don't know where I am. I didn't tell them where I moved. I know that your illness is causing your behaviour, but I can no longer put up with it. You have refused to seek treatment for too long. You can't control your psychosis now. I love you, but I'm too tired of being afraid for my family. I'm sorry. She's literally... No, it's sad. I mean... It is sad. She's literally just focused on the one crumb without actually thinking about the context. He loves me. It is sad. But what's more sad is that he's actually cut ties with his parents to protect them. That is really sad, because at first I thought that they weren't speaking for another reason. Um, when you find out that it's... that he cut ties with them so he could protect them, that's... that's messed up. Uh-oh. It's gone. Quiet. Oh. Don't just lock. Okay. Anything else? Don't want to miss anything. Can you hide under the bed? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the moment where Markiplier took the piss out of me. <laughs> that was so funny. 
It was so surreal. <laughs> I really gave it my all for that part too. It's so weird. If you'll hear it. <laughs> I did like, um, at one point I wanted to do a mixture between laughing and crying because I got inspired by Lisa from Silent Hill PT. So I wanted to do something kind of like that, but I don't think it made its way into this part. I don't know if you hear it later on or not, but it was literally, it was kind of like that, but sort of half laughing, <laughs> crying at the same time, because I wanted it to sound really creepy. Um, but yeah, when I did this, um, I just got myself into a state. It wasn't easy at first, because I think for this kind of... Uh, when you've got to put yourself into a certain mindset uh, for something, um, it can take a while for you to get into it. So I just started, like, pretend crying, and then I, the more I did it, the more I got myself into a state, and, like, by the end of it, I was literally, I was sweating slightly, um, and I was shaking, and it was just, it was perfect. It was a really, um, interesting experience for me, um, as a voice actress. Sorry about that, I had to take care of something. Um, where was I? Um, huh. Oh. I guess it was just the wind, I thought I heard something funny. I'm, yeah, I'm not comfortable right now. Um... A loaded pistol, that's just what I need. Shooting at her right away is useless, she's too fast. Even the police couldn't hit her. First I need to somehow distract her. How are you? What's going on? I found a dead police officer. He had a weapon on him. I found a gun, so I feel much better now. Great. Now we have a chance. <coughs> if you decide to shoot, it will be loud. Be prepared that she will hear, and will come for you. Also, Mark, do you have a minute? What is it? Can you tell me what was in your gift? 
I know it's it's silly, but I I need to be sure that it is what I think it is. In case we don't make it. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'd want to tell her, but at the same time... I want her to feel reassured. Might give her strength. So I'm going to tell her. Oh, Mark, I... Thank you. When I see you after all this, I'll give you the answer. So, don't you even dare think about giving up. Oh. Oh. I just love her delivery. It's so natural. You know? Just really genuine and natural and heartfelt. Why is there a handprint, a bloody handprint, on the... on the fireplace? <laughs> Um, can I break these? Ones? But I don't want to. But what about the last ritual? What do I do? How do I? I don't want to miss the last one. I must have missed it, mustn't I? Fuck. Maybe it's not. You know what? If I missed it, it doesn't matter. I will play through it again. I love that come here line as well. I got to change the tone a little bit. Make her sound much more like demanding and uh, less lovey dovey, more your mind kind of thing. So that was. I'm just going back the way I came. If it is this way, do I want to go this way? Right now I've got to focus on... Where's that last ritual thing? I don't want to miss it. I am missing one. Unless... Honestly, I... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Great. I just, I feel like I would have... I feel like I would have seen the last one. I don't think I would have missed it that easily, surely. Wind's giving me anxiety, and oh, what about this door? Ah! 
Great. Great. She's obsessed with this ring. If I put it under the tree, it will definitely get her attention. I can't avoid her anymore. We need to end this. She was obsessed with chasing, and I was obsessed with running away. Now it's all over for both of us. But, but, the last ritual. I mean, the last <laughs> fragment. Mark, I heard gunshots. Are you okay? Figured out a way to Do you stop know how her. to stop her? Tell me. I have my gift for you. I'll use it as bait. Did you find my present? Good. You know, she stole my Christmas decorations for a reason. It looks like she's obsessed with spending Christmas with you. Maybe if you put a present by the Christmas tree, it will distract her. Just don't forget to put the fireworks everywhere first. And Mark, please be careful. I think I fucked up. I think I missed a fragment. There's strong wind outside in real life for me too, so it's not helping the nerves. Oh shit. Ugh. I don't wanna... This is the goddamn boss fight, isn't it? gonna piss me off. It was right under my fucking nose. I even looked at it. I even looked at it. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill her. Is it too late for me to go back? I bet it is. No! I will, I will redo it again. I will do it again. I will do the whole fucking game again. I'm doing it. Um, yeah. This is unacceptable. Um, I will not, I don't wanna. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it all over again. We're doing this. Do I really want to do this all over again? Yes, I do. Time to speed run. What have I done? I'm regretting everything now, actually. Too late. Yes, darling. Hi, handsome. So I'll be I don't want to be rude, but can I skip? I took a bunch of pics, just like you asked. I cannot Let skip. Let me send you one right now. Good. I'll what just listen to, to her lovely voice My again. Photo in the mountains? This is gonna take a while. You know what? I'm not gonna waste any time this time. Let's leave the door wide open for her. Honey, are you there? Come on, right in, sweetie. Right. 
Right. So this should be the last one. I've got to find a missing stocking. So... I can't find anyone. So the ritual can be reversed if the summoner gets back in the circle. I can do this if I can draw a complete pentagram and lure her inside. The ghoul ate those who opened the door to him, and in the morning he returned to his wife and kissed her red lips. Just like that, house after house, the village was getting empty, and the husband was getting fatter. The wife noticed that and decided to find out where her betrothed goes at night. As the sun went down, she hid and followed him. She saw how her husband went out into the yard, jumped over the stump and turned into a ghoul. Right at that moment, the devil climbed on his shoulder and began to whisper to him which door to knock next. The lass returned home in tears. The devil lied to her. She not only didn't get her husband back, but cursed the village. There is a time for grief, and there is a time for action. And that wasn't a time for grief. She heard that you can drive the devil away, just like you summoned him at the first place. The wife drew the cursed sign again, stood inside it, and began to wait. Then she heard her husband's voice outside the door. He groaned and wept and begged her to leave the circle. He promised her mountains of gold and love to the grave. The lass was crying, her heart was bleeding. She did not leave the circle, and as the clock struck midnight, her husband fell silent. The devil disappeared that night, and with him disappeared his gift to the poor lass. That's how the wife became a widow again. did it. Have all of them. Now I'm going to pick up that gun. <laughs> okay, he's just going around shooting anything that's locked. Shots, are you okay? You know how to stop her? Tell me. Right. Okay. I found a description of the ritual that could remove her powers. Did you find the rest of the pages? Great. But this sounds very risky. Are you sure it will work? I don't know. Maybe it'll be safer to lure her in with a gift and then finish her. I don't want to kill her. I must take the risk. Do you think there's still something human left in her? I loved her and I still care about her. I want to give her a chance. Something is using her obsession. She doesn't know what she's doing. Your plan sounds crazy. But I believe in you. Mark, you did the impossible tonight. And I know you can do it again. Good luck. Okay. Joyce is safe, and she's not mad at me. This is good. Now I need to save... The Witch, the ex. She doesn't have a name. I know some people said that they... Wanted to give her a name. I don't know what. There was a name, I can't remember. Someone suggested it in the comments of the video. 
But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's in, in the script, it, it says that she's just called the witch for convenience, but we don't know her name. So, it's, it's head canon. We'll have to come up with a name for her. Um, which way do I want to go? What if I fuck all of this up? I guess I still have to place the gift there. Yeah, because it will lure her in. <coughs> Please let this work. Please let this work. See, my name's literally right there. Olivia Steele. <sighs> that was amazing. I'm so glad I finally got to play it. It was beautiful singing, by the way, at the end. I love that version. It's like kind of haunting. Yeah, I, I am very glad that they added that ending. And I think it was mostly due to the reactions from everyone who's played it um because i think it's when you know that she's not herself you know it's pretty tragic that you just well you, you essentially kill her um because she's not aware of what she's doing having said that though I don't know if everything that she did before doing the ritual, like stalking his family, harassing his friends and family, and just generally being a very dangerous, toxic person to be around, you know, I mean, isolating, isolating your partner from their loved ones is, a, is abusive behaviour. So did she do that prior to the ritual or afterwards? I don't know. It doesn't... The thing is, I think in, in this ending, you know, if you really want to read into it a lot, now she has a chance to heal. Now she has a chance to move on. Because I know that um, some people wanted to uh, stay with her, um, or would prefer to be with the ex rather than Joyce. Which, to me, I mean, it doesn't... I know you have the choice, because, like, there was the dialogue option, I still love her, I want to give her a chance, and all that. But it's, I mean, he would really have to be in deep to literally go back on a marriage proposal to be with this woman who's literally put him through hell 
when you look at it like that, it's pretty messed up. I think that, I think if you did choose an ending where he just goes back on his marriage proposal and ends up with the ex, I don't think it would be a healthy relationship at all. Because even though she's herself again and she's better, you know, is she just going to still continue on with those toxic traits, with that abusive behaviour? In which case he's, you know, maybe he's, I don't know, I, I would see it as like a... Um, a messed up kind of love because if he's literally willing to like just mm, forget Joyce and go back with the ex then that means that he never actually got over her but he had to run away from her I mean he literally had to cut ties with his family to protect them from her so like to me this ending it's he's given her a hug because now they can just both heal and move on. And he can live his life happily with Joyce and get married with Joyce and and uh, the ex can move on with her with her life and and heal and get better, hopefully. And get the help that she needs. I mean it's not always easy to seek help, but she said she was sorry and all that. So yeah. But yeah, that was really cool. I loved that. That was, um... I'm just really glad they added that ending. I wasn't- it didn't sit right with me to just, um, kill her. Actually, you know what? I don't like calling her just the ex. I mean, you can call her whatever you want. But I quite like the name Evelyn. It's pretty. And it means, uh, desired. Oh, uh, to wish for. Hmm. I think it suits her. Evelyn. Again, I'm just so proud to have been able to voice in this. Um, I go into more detail about, you know, how I got into voice acting, why I'm a fan of horror games and all that, in my playthrough of Echoes of the Living, which is a new horror game that I'm going to be in that I am just so excited about. To say that I am now in two horror games is... Yeah, m my brain can't. I'll never, it'll never fully register with me, let's just put it that way. But yeah, uh, if you want to look at that, um, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll also leave a link to um, Olivia Steele's channel, so you can check her out. She's amazing, you must, you must follow her. And also to uh, the game on Steam if you wish to buy it. Um, and support the game and, and, and play it for yourself, um, because it's a fun experience. I think now is the, the season to play it, even though Christmas has passed, sadly. I hope I'll, I'll get to be in more projects like this in the future. It means so much to me, and, and more importantly, um, I just want to thank everyone who has followed me so far, um, who has subscribed to this channel, or even just, even just left a comment, or just watched for a little bit. It, it really means so much to me, um, so I really, really want to thank you so much. Yeah, I'm rambling again, but thank you, uh, so much for watching, and I have so much more planned for this channel. Um, it's kind of a mess, really, just so many ideas. It's a bit overwhelming. Good luck with your future projects for this year. Good luck with um, whether it's going back to school or going back to work or whatever it is you have planned after the holidays, you've got this. <sighs> so yeah, I will see you in my next video and again, Happy New Year.